energy with this system really hasn't developed yet, but starting to see some more significant precipitation come in now out through parts of south and southwestern Pennsylvania. And as we head through early morning hours on Friday, this is where we are going to see some of that steadier snow start breaking out. Pittsburgh and points on off toward the east, so the Pennsylvania Turnpike could get quite interesting, and it's already been quite interesting and it's continuing to do so in parts of Jersey and even around New York City as we've had some freezing drizzle and it's caused some real nasty pileups, a 75 car pileup I believe and uh, right around the Jersey Turnpike and even the reports of a fatality from a gentleman who tried to uh, escape a car that was heading toward him. So really we've had some really rough conditions here. It's been very dangerous to travel on the light freezing drizzle and we'll continue to see that mixed precipitation through Friday morning around New York City, probably change on over to rain as we head through the midday hours, as we can see our low pressure area continuing to work on off toward the east and north, but our heavier stripe of snow through the Poconos starting to enter the southern tier of New York State, and then by Friday night, low pressure getting developed off the coast will continue to spread moisture in, and anywhere here from well, let's say Newburgh, where Mike Seidel will be up toward Kingston and Sorgates, even on in through Albany and Schenectady and Troy, back toward the west through the Finger Lakes, we could be seeing a steadier snow developing. Now, New York City, Boston, even through Hartford and Washington, D.C., it looks like you'll see some liquid, meaning some just plain old rain, and then some mixing going on, probably the further toward the north. Thinking right now is that Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. will most likely have limited wintry precipitation, but as we head on up through New York, and even through Hartford and Providence and Boston, on the tail end of the system through Friday night, you could be getting some snow. And some light snows we head through the midday morning hours on Friday. That means anywhere from one to three inches. And once again emphasizing, this is not the big show. The big show will be late Friday through Friday night when the snow in our area of low pressure is forecast to both increase in intensity. So just ahead here in the northeast end of England early, and then the six inch total is probably coming in later Friday through Friday night heavier snows out toward the west and our Friday forecast map once again. Later in the day, the significant snow picking up, rain and snow continuing in the Pacific Northwest with some really chilly temperatures on Friday morning as far south as the panhandle of Florida where we are going to see very cold numbers even as we head on through the midday hours as we're not expecting temperatures to modify much 